In this video, let's go back to basic principles of any camera gear, picking the right balance through manual Kelvin settings. We all know where the automatic white balance settings are in our cameras. Obviously, to take our videos to another level, we should focus on manual settings to avoid changes of our footage caused by automatic controls and preferences of a camera. With automatic settings, things like suddenly darker image might appear, which will ruin your shot. We simply need to control things like ISO, shutter speed or white balance. Automatic white balance should be avoided, but some of your white balance presets can do a job too. This could be your sunny or cloudy weather presets or indoors light. Correct white balance will more than less help you to achieve correct colors and natural look of your footage. But first and foremost, white being white, not yellow or gray. What is actually Kelvin and why we use it in video or photography? Well, it is simply a unit of measurements for temperature and we use it to measure the color temperature of light sources. The temperature scale uh, most often used in videos or photography ranges from about 2000K to 9000K. Obviously, K is referred to Kelvin. I don't want to complicate things and if you are like me, you might find a following explanation of Kelvin value useful. Lower Kelvins means warmer light source and your camera will compensate it with more blue color. However, life is not that easy and we have to bear in mind some standard values for certain situations. So let's have a look at the following. Around 2000K would be correct for environment lit by a candle, when moonlight should be associated with highest values. I believe most of video creators on this platform operate either outdoors daytime or indoors when shooting videos in their studios. So stick to circa 5700K for a sunny weather, 6500K when it's cloudy and between 3000 and 4000K when recording indoors. This is kind of a sweet spot for most of videos and at the end of the day we can slightly tweak the white balance in post. But at least correct Kelvin values can simplify our video editing. However, you can still experiment with Kelvin values to achieve personal look of your choice, like more yellowish vintage look. We'll leave that with you. I hope you have found my short Kelvin guide useful. If yes, hit the subscribe button or like button. If not, then check out my other videos on this channel and you will definitely find something more suitable for yourself. Cheers.